Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get... It's, it's, it's a slow week for boxing. I'm not going to lie. We're going to get into Denzel Bentley and Derek Oshase in what is an intriguing fight to some degree. Uh, Denzel Bentley is a, a prospect with... I don't want to call him a prospect anymore. He's a contender. Friends level contender with some promise. Just says he's able to put it together all the way. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogging, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, please uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, it's in the little ticket below. Join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the best gambling advice in the sport. It gets you the as the bookie anything. It gets you updated props. It gets you every prop that you can get. It'll get you the props to this fight, which hasn't dropped yet. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Denzel Bentley and Derek Ashasi. This is a, not a great fight. Uh, Denzel Bentley burst onto the scene. Denzel Bentley is, he's got talent. He's not a bad fighter, but somehow he keeps losing these fights to Nathan Haney. Uh, he fought Janet Bechtoff. He, he, he got stopped by Felix Cash. He's got a draw with Mark Heffron. You just look at these things. Like, how does this keep happening? But then he's got, a win over Lionel Shudofa. He's got uh first round knockout over Kieran Smith. He's got a second round knockout of Danny Dingham. So it's like, where what do we make of this guy? Derek Oshashi is what he is, and we'll get into him in a bit. But he's a decent athlete, pretty good athlete. He's patient, Bentley. Nice, quick, sharp counters, good counter puncher, goes to the body well, good uh g- Good power. Good pop. He sets the shots up pretty well. At this point, I, I can't really call him more than a domestic level guy. That, that That's what he's been fighting. Um, he hasn't beat anyone beyond that level, and, he, and he's lost to guys at that level. It's one of the things where the parts are so much greater than the sum. You look at him, he doesn't look bad. Like I said, good power, good speed, good athleticism, good counter puncher, good athlete. It's just It doesn't put it all together. He loads up too much. He's certainly not too sharp. That's not his biggest issue. Not a ton of volume. Doesn't work a ton off his jab. He's a, he's a mystery. I, I I don't know what to expect from him. Like, y- you look at him and you can say, this guy's got world-level talent, and he does. But he just doesn't seem to be able to put it together. Like I said, the, the, the parts are greater than the sum. It, putting it all together has, has been a major issue, and he, he can't seem to get the best out of him. He doesn't jab enough. Um, he, he loves his power too much. He relies on his power too much. We saw this in the Haney fight. Uh, he couldn't blow him out. He thought he was going to blow him out. When he couldn't blow him out, there was no plan B. There's just – there doesn't seem to be ultra-high ring IQ. There, but the, the skills are there, and, like, that's why he can knock – he can get these first-round, second-round knockouts over decent fighters. Kieran Smith, just destroy him. Just blow him away. Just blow these guys away. And you can see why he can do that. Counter puncher. He can lead. He can go first. He can fight in, 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 you know, at least the mid range, and he can fight in all three distances. He can. There's a lot to like about him. It's just for some reason he can't piece it all together, and he's got these flaws. And he's gonna fight Derek Asasi, and and this should not be a fight. Asasi is a super aggressive swarmer with little to no power. Um. Not a great athlete, a little bit mechanical. He's slow. He gets a little sloppy. He doesn't sit down on his punches. He throws a lot of arm punches. He's a, a aggressive and strong on the inside. Is what he, is. he throws nice, clean uppercuts on the inside. He's not good at cutting up ring, so it's not easy for him to get inside. Uh, doesn't have great feet. He doesn't use his angles. He doesn't throw from angles. He's pretty much straight in, straight out. And when he's in, he can do some damage. He throws nice shots, but there's not a ton of pop on it. 
Like I said, he's a little bit slow in plotting. He doesn't throw enough. He doesn't work behind his jab enough. He's not accurate from the outside. So getting on side against Denzel Bentley is going to be a nightmare for him. He shows up sometimes uh, and he plays you go, I go. He's not a great, he doesn't punch in between punches. He lets you tee off and then he throws, he throws wide shots. He, like I said, he's a slow pressure fighter with decent skills and, and nice, solid, clean uppercuts on the inside. There's just, and he doesn't have power and he does, and he's slow. And it's just, he's at, at this level, it's just not going to work for him. And like I said, as much as there is to love about Bentley, this is as much as that makes you scratch your head. Bentley's going to win this fight for sure. Um, let's pull up the odds on this. Give me one second. So here are the odds. So we're going to do uh, Bentley on a two times bet. I think it's safe. So whatever your normal bet is, like let's say your normal bet's $100, you're going to throw twice that on him. That's going to make a $200 bet is going to make it 87. Oh, got that backwards. All right. So a two times bet is going to make it about 50 bucks, right? Minus six. Oh, I'm so look at the wrong five. $200 bet is going to make you 16 by five bucks. This is not a great bet. Like a $200 bet making you 16 bucks is not where the action is at. Uh, what we also want to do is take Denzel Bentley by KO, TKO, DQ. Take that, make half a bet, $50 on. On that is going to make you twenty one dollars. So a two hundred fifty dollar bet here uh, with Bentley by KO is going to make you sixteen thirty seven dollars. Two hundred dollar bet is going to make you thirty seven dollars. So we don't love that. Okay, but that's what I would I, I advise you to do if you want to do standalone bets. It makes twice your bet on Denzel Bentley by the money line. I'm still pretty what confident. What could you do with Shaquille O'Neal? Saw the crap out of me. How did that happen? Uh, geez, um, uh, it's Richard Jefferson talking about Shaquille O'Neal, RJ, and, and JC Reddy. Uh, that, that's the, that, that was unexpected. Um, what I would do is I would build my parlay and I, I would throw in Denzel Bentley into that. Denzel Bentley on the money line into that. I think that's your best bet with this fight. Nothing here is good. This is a tough week of boxing. This really is. There's not a ton of good fights. Uh, I, I like I said I like him, Billy. You have him, Billy on the money line, and you have Bentley on the money line. You have the start of a parlay. Um, if you like the, the Bentley, take him a small put a, a bet on him on the money line and a, and a small bet by stoppage. I do think he gets the stoppage. He's been able to stop guys like this in the past. He he can hit. He's a good counter puncher. This guy's going to be open to be counter. So I like Ben uh, Bentley by KO, and I, obviously I like him on the money line. Uh, but this is not a lot of money there. So what you want to do is you want to add this to your parlay. Put this in a three-fight parlay with him, Billy. We can find something else as the week goes on. But that's the start of your parlay. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Um, it is, what is it? It is August 14th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you. Don't miss